Real quick, you're going to see this one Dokkan battle on repeat because the other 47 minutes of my recording got corrupted and I couldn't use it. Couldn't see a damn thing. So, one battle on repeat. Sorry. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Deus Asylum. I'm your Ward of the Mitchell Shrine, and today I want to actually talk about, you know, the whole me deleting legends things and what that actually means. And yes, this is a legends video, and you're looking at Dokkan because, yes, legends is still gone. I did not re download it, and I have no intention on re downloading it for a minute. Now, the big question is will I re download it? I don't fucking know. This is not a situation where I'm going to be like, no, I'm never downloading Dragon Ball Legends ever again. Fuck you. Fuck the game. No, I, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't. Because this time it wasn't me. The thing is, I've never actually deleted Dragon Ball Legends before. I, I want you guys to know that. I've stopped playing for a week, two weeks, whatever, on multiple occasions. But Dragon Ball Legends has been on my phone since it came out back in 2018. This is the very first time I have ever deleted the app outside of, you know, a few times where I transferred it um, from one phone to another for whatever reason. Obviously, in order to get it back from getting the other account, I had to delete the app, re-download it. But in terms of, you know, I don't want to play anymore, this is the very first time I've ever deleted Dragon Ball Legends. So I don't know. I can't tell you if I'm ever going to re-download the game. However, me having the game actually is not going to affect the Legends content. Because the content I've been making recently is the Fixed series. Content I've been working on is Zenkai concepts. Um, and, you know, the Fixed series extends past just units, also with events. I've been uh, trying to design a brand new style of event for Dragon Ball Legends. Uh, like literally in detail, stage by stage, uh, in an event for Dragon Ball Legends. And the thing is, I don't need the game to do any of that. All the information I need, if I need any in-game information at all, is on DBZ Space. I don't need to have the game downloaded to still make the content that I'm making. And believe it or not, I actually do enjoy making the fixed series. I enjoy actually trying to bring some life into Dragon Ball Legends. I, I want this misconception to die right now. I do not hate Dragon Ball Legends. Every now and then, I will see the comment, if you hate it so much, stop playing it. I need the stupid ass people who think for one fucking second that I hate Dragon Ball Legends to shut the hell up and understand what this channel is about in the first fucking place. This channel, everything I say, everything I've ever done, has never come from a place of hate. It has come from a place of want. I want Dragon Ball Legends to succeed. I want it to be the best possible game it can be. And I see an unyielding amount of potential. Potential? Potential. For the game. And that's why it irritates me so much. The reason it pisses me off, the reason why I get so obnoxiously angry, is because I know Dragon Ball Legends can be an absolutely fantastic game. I know what kind of potential it has. I know what kind of fun it can be. I know how much money it can make. Believe it or not, I know a thing or two about business. And actually, Bandai is not making as much money off this game as they could. Uh, believe, believe it or not, I, I know a plethora of different ways that Bandai could legitimately make more money off of Dragon Ball Legends than they already do while also keeping the player base, most of it anyway, happy because you're never going to please everyone, right? Is everyone, someone is always going to have a problem with something, right? That's just how that works. However, my biggest issue is the fact that I love Dragon Ball Legends, I want it to succeed, but every single time the developers do something, it hurts everyone's enjoyment of the game. When people are quitting your game in mass, even though you're celebrating some massive milestone, some massive user milestone, you can't just ignore the fact that people are leaving your game in mass. 
You may be celebrating a 50 million users celebration, but you can't just ignore the fact that thousands of people are deleting the game every single day. Yeah, you've got 50 million active users right now. How many will you have a year from now if people keep deleting the game? You might lose 50 million, but still be successful because for every one person that deletes the game, about 500 people download it. So, I mean, whatever, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really need that stupid fucking idiotic uh, misconception to just end. Anyone who thinks that I hate Dragon Ball Legends, you have no idea what this channel is about and you're an idiot. Literally watch one video. Pay attention in one video. Don't just listen to the sound of my voice. Don't just listen to the fact that I'm angry actually pay attention to what I'm saying and even even the slowest of people would be able to realize that everything I've done for the past two years in Dragon Ball Legends has all come from a place of me wanting the game to be as successful and as fun as it can. And right now, I would argue that Legends is not living up to either of those things. It's success or the fun, especially the fun. It's successful, but not as successful as it could be, and it sure as hell ain't fun. And another thing is, I don't hate Dragon Ball Legends as a concept. I hate playing Dragon Ball Legends. <laughs> because the problem I have with actually playing the game, PvP is frustrating to the point of me screaming my head off. Co-op is frustrating for a different reason, to the point of me screaming my head off, and then PvE is so boring that it makes me frustrated to the point of screaming my head off. So no matter what I'm doing in the game, I'm just angry. I, I'm just, I just get frustrated doing literally anything, and there's no reason for me to do that, and I don't have to do it to make content. There's only so many times I can exaggerate my own emotions before I'm just like, bro, I actually don't care anymore. There's only so many times I can go, what the fuck? Before I'm just like, I actually, actually, why do I care? Any, anyone can raise their voice a little bit and sound more entertaining. Anyone who honestly believes I get, I get fucking bloodshot in the eyes. I got a fucking vein popping out of my head every single time Legends does something. No, I exaggerate 90% of my of my, uh, the uh, emotion in my videos for the sake of entertainment. At the end of the day, my videos are meant to entertain you, and people seem to be entertained by me blowing a fucking gasket at Dragon Ball Legends. So whenever I do make a rant video, I take myself up to 20 out of 10 and just go completely insane when in reality i only care a little i don't care that much at the end of the day it's a game i can stop playing it whenever i want but i don't want to stop playing but i'm going to because at this point i'm actually just beginning to not care and before it was always a matter of I cared. I cared maybe a bit too much. But it's starting to get to a point where I genuinely just don't care whether the game succeeds or not. And I don't think I should really be supporting the game that I don't care about anymore. However, I can still talk about it. I can still try and fix it. I don't have to have the game downloaded. I can talk about the game all day. As long as I don't have the game downloaded and I'm not recommending that people download it themselves, I'm not supporting the game. You can talk about something and not support it. And as long as I'm not playing and I tell you guys not to play, which by the way, I would recommend you don't play Dragon Ball Legends, I'm not supporting it. That's the thing. As long as you continue to play, you are supporting all of the dumbass decisions that they make. You are the reason the game is in its current state. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna straight up say that. The player base is responsible for the state of the game, not the developers. The developers are doing what you fuckers support. The data tells them things, all right? They don't care about your nasty threats on Twitter because the data shows them that you love fucking hybrids and Sun Family units. So what do they do? They continuously release 
hybrid, and sun family units. Maybe if people didn't gravitate towards what was good and instead just used what they wanted, PvP wouldn't be such a stupid ass mess. But the data tells them that that's what you want. So at the end of the day, realistically, it is your fault that Dragon Ball Legends is in its current predicament. And as much as I feel like the developers should care about their game and actually have some passion in it, I can't just ignore the fact that the player base is just as responsible as the developers are. And I simply cannot support either side anymore. So I'm not gonna, but I'm gonna still make the same content. That's not gonna change. The fixed series will not stop um, the other style of videos will not stop. Zenkai concepts will not stop. Um, even the day, even the weekly Legends live stream discussions will not stop. We just started doing live breakdowns of uh, the updates. Those will not stop. All of that stuff will still happen. And I will still be giving you my honest opinion on whether or not I think you should summon for something or not. Because as much as I don't think you should play the game, I'm not just going to abandon it entirely out of respect for the people who do believe in the game, who do believe that there is something to it, and who genuinely want to play it. Out of respect for the people who have made this channel what it is, I may not have a large audience, but before I started playing Dragon Ball Legends, I didn't have any. So out of respect for the people who sit who sit down every day at 10 a.m. and listen to my dumbass talk for 15 and for anywhere from like 5 to 15 minutes out of respect for the people who have actually, you know, put some time into having legitimate debates with me and not just try and be an idiot in my comment section and out of respect for the people who actually care about Dragon Ball Legends. I will continue to do the content that I have been doing. However, I will just be doing it without the game itself. Again, I don't need the game to do anything. And maybe, maybe I'll come back. My account is not being abandoned, by the way. Uh, I, I do have a friend that is going to be grinding the account, I would feel, honestly, I would just feel bad if my account just got abandoned. And I don't really think it's quite time for me to try and sell it just yet. So I have given the account to a friend, literally lives like right across the street from me. And he is currently grinding my account. Well, technically his sister is, I gave it to him, but technically his sister is the one that's playing it. So if you see me in co-op, if you see DS Asylum in co-op or PVP, or if you're in my guild and you see that I was, I was uh, active five minutes ago, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> that, that's not actually me. That, that's, that's just one of my friends. She's the one grinding my account. She's the one that's going to be doing everything. And in the event that she gets something really good, I told her that summon. I, I told her to summon. Any banner she wanted to summon on, I told her to summon. And if she pulled a new unit, I would do one video. I will test out any new unit that is brought onto my account, and I will do one PvP video. I will not be downloading the game on my phone. That video will be recorded off of her phone. However, again, out of respect for the people who give, who give a shit about my dumbass opinions, I will do it for you. But outside of that, follow me on Twitch for some Dokkan content and other stuff. I played Five Nights at Freddy's last week. I'll do, I'll play whatever the fuck you guys want. It doesn't have to be mobile game. Pokemon Unite's coming out in, in like two weeks. I'm gonna start playing that. I will be doing plenty of stuff and the Legends content itself is not stopping. So do with that what you will. Maybe if I, if the fucking withdraws from trying to quit this drug that is Dragon Ball Legends 
really smack me in the face, maybe I'll re-download the game. But as of right now, as of me saying these words right now, I do not want Dragon Ball Legends on my phone. I just don't. That, that's, that's, just, that's just how it is. And the crazy part is, I never knew just how much I needed it gone until I started streaming Dokkan. Because when I started streaming Dokkan, my mood completely changed. When I'm streaming Dokkan, I'm happy. I'm joking around. I'm chill. Dokkan is vibes. I say it at every single stream. Dokkan, the Dokkan streams are vibes. Legend streams is just me ranting for two hours. And it's just not fun. <laughs> at, at one point, the rants were just fun to do. That's why I used to do them so much. It's like, ha, ah, look, asshole, be mad at Dragon Ball Legends. But after a while, it was just like, th there's a reason why I stopped doing the rants so much. Even I got sick of ranting. And now I, I'm, I'm just, I'm sick of having reasons to rant. Dragon Ball Legends gives me too many reasons to be angry. So, if I can cut those back a little bit, fine. Great. But yeah, the content that I've been doing is not going to stop. You're just not going to see any gameplay unless a new hype unit is pulled. I'm not going to do a fucking Yajirobe um, <laughs> video by himself at one star. That's not going to happen. But if she pulls Grade 8 Vegeta, like, say grade 8 Vegeta or whatever comes out for Black Friday or whatever the fuck I'll do a video on it fine I, 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 I can live with doing one PvP video whatever two if I really enjoy the unit <laughs> and I'll, I'll make a deal with you guys for old times sake if this video gets to 50 likes we'll do one last stream I guess Grinding up the Cybermen. Maybe. Probably not. I, I, I said that out loud. Now nah, I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't really feel like it. Maybe. This video won't get to 50 likes though. So it's not like I'll have to do it. So I guess I can keep that out there. I don't know. <laughs> but yep. I've been here for a while. So I'm going to let you guys go. If you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that join button if you can, it really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below. And I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video, which tomorrow's will be the Red Kefla Fixed series, finally. And then after that, we'll see. Peace.